Welcome back, Fragrance Fiend here today with Side Effect, released in 2016 by Initio, which is the sister company of Parfums de Mali. It comes in 10 and 90 mil. In Australia, retailers sell it for 399 Australian, and in the US it's 360 USD. So my current quest at the moment in perfume hunting is finding one fragrance from each niche house that I might either like or want to discover. Not having any access to Initio locally, it was a big toss-up between Mystic Experience and Side Effect. Just when I was ready to buy the bullet on Mystic Experience, Side Effect became available and I went with that. I do have quite a few boozy amber scents, but what harm is there in having one more? Mystic Experience is more of a coffee dominant scent. I do have quite a few coffee fragrances. I could use more, but um, I might get that next time. I did get a sample of it with this though, and it's absolutely incredible. So Initio burst into the scene in 2015 and came out with this one year later. So the note breakdown looked incredible, just consisting of rum, tobacco, vanilla, and cinnamon. So the description says it tantalizes the most discerning senses by playing off each other's facets. Deeply buried emotions and passions take over. The fragrance lifts the veil on the unsayable. This passionate perfume has the power to plunge its wearer into the altered state where nothing is too daring because there are no risks left. Some of the websites and retailers also suggest that there is cinnamon bark, rum, tobacco, saffron, sandalwood, and hedion, but the base four is what I mentioned earlier. So it sounds like a tiny bit of a typical winter booze bomb, such as Naxos, Tobacco Jubilation 25, Herod, Angel's Share, and even Blonde Amber. So let's have a tiny bit of a reminder of what it smells like. So straight from the opening, it's just so satisfying. It's so incredibly smooth and clean, not like some vanilla scents you get where it's a little overwhelming. The cinnamon is more so sweet, no abrasiveness to it whatsoever. I definitely get a bit of that mysterious saffron in there though as well. And then of course you've got that amazing rum note, which is what it's really known for. As the cinnamon begins to fade as it dries down, the tobacco comes out more, blending really nicely with that rum accord, and the vanilla takes a bit of a backseat. I will say it's nothing too different than what I've actually smelt before. This type of scent profile is becoming a tiny bit more common nowadays, and you could say this came about when the trend was starting to kind of kick off. None of the notes are too demanding or dominant, and nothing really lacks attention either, it's just really well balanced. It's just one of those addictive, intoxicating, edible fragrances. It's definitely a winter scent you can probably get away with in autumn and spring too, but just not for summer. It is perfectly unisex, there's nothing leaning too masculine or feminine about it. The packaging is also top tier, it's as good as Zerzhov. The bottle has really weird texture, like almost a rubbery yet metallic feel. Now onto the performance. So it's been about 8 hours since I've sprayed my tiny sample of Mystic Experience, and I can still say it's really radiating super strongly even after a shower. And after wearing Side Effect, I can confirm that this is an absolute beast. It lasts me about 10 to 12 hours, super easy, projects really nicely a few feet, leaves a good little sillage, and overall leaves you in a bit of a scent bubble that you'll be able to smell yourself in all day. Definitely not as strong as some others I've tried, but still, for what it is, it's incredible. So all up, considering the price, performance, quality, the versatility, and the scent itself, I'm going to give it a very strong 9 out of 10. If you haven't tried it, it's definitely worth checking it out. The last thing I need in my collection is a scent with this type of DNA. A, but honestly I don't regret it, it's going to make a great addition. So definitely check it out if it's available in your location. That's all for today's video, see you next time.